Find out the fundamentals of display ads, the categories they fall into, and the goals that they should seek to accomplish. Display, again, it's, it's to help you achieve those two basic marketing objectives of branding and awareness and then direct response. So something like a remarketing ad that's all about the direct response. Um, when it comes to using display for branding, I mean, what's really interesting is that we're seeing this sort of ancillary effect to an effective display buy where it actually um, increases the number of people searching um, for your dealership name if you do a, a really effective display ad buy uh, in your local market. So we see advertisers who, let's say they, they do a big display buy, um, say I'm a, I'm a movie advertiser and I wanna um, have you know display banners for my movie across the web and I do a, a YouTube masthead. I believe they see on average about a five to 10% increase in just the number of searches for that movie because they've generated all this awareness. So I think that how you choose to use display, I mean, it, it depends on your goals. It depends on the type of display product you use. I mean, we have, uh, we have topic targeting that allows you to place ads on particular topics, um, like say sports or um, car shopping that are relevant to your customers. We have keyword contextual targeting, which allows you to place an ad based on the actual words on the page. And so th the purpose of that might be a little bit more direct response if you're you know, targeting the display ad on words that have to do with financing or, or shopping or dealer. Um, and then of course, remarketing. So, I mean, the display really truly is just getting started.